Hi, I'm VJ, Patrol Supervisor with the AA. I've been with the company now since 1998. VJ, thank you very much for doing this today, right? No problem. Uh, one of the big questions I get asked on TikTok an awful lot is, what can you fix on the side of the road? I mean, do you just come and tow people away or do you actually try and fix people from, from the start? No, that's a common misconception that people think we just recover vehicles, but we actually fix them first. We attempt to fix. If we can't fix them, then we recover them. Right. But a, around 83, 85% of the time, we would fix them. And what's a kind of a common thing people will call out about? Is it breakdown or is it, it car won't start in the morning? Just car won't start in the morning. Flat batteries, wheel changes, out of fuel. Uh, keys locked in a car, you know, the usual stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to carry all the stuff you need. No, we do carry some stock, but if we do need to go to a motorfactors, yeah, we will go. Right. You know, we'll advise the, the member that, you know, we can go and get the part for you, um, and we'll go and get the part for them, and then we'll fit it. Right. And what's the most common thing is flat batteries? Flat it? batteries, yeah. Flat batteries and uh, wheel changes and out of fuel is the main ones that we normally go out to. <laughs> out yeah. of fuel? Yeah, yeah. Still, they're still Never doing happened that. Never happen electric cars? Electric cars, yeah. Electric cars will still go, you know, they'll drain their battery. Yeah. They can't get a, to a charge point, and uh, so we, we go out and help them. We have mobile chargers as well. You have mobile so, chargers? Yeah, we have a mobile charger, yeah. That's ingenious. Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Can we have a look inside the van? Let's yeah, absolutely. actually being with you as tools-wise and stuff. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, the common stuff you get asked for most regularly is, of course, a battery charger. So, we've got yes. a, you've jump starters and things, I think. Yeah, we have a boost pack, okay. battery boost pack, which is just there. Yeah. We have... Uh, that's this one here. That's the one there, yeah. 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 That's the battery boost pack. That will start, you know, a big Jeep from completely flat. Yeah. And it will jump start it. And it's always charging in the back it's of the van. It's always well. charging, okay. yeah. Once you use it, you know, you can get a good few charges out of it without charging it, but we always keep it charged. It wouldn't be good if you went to get some of these batteries exactly, charged, yeah. charged so that's why we always keep them charged yeah right and then we have the jack the wheel nut gun and we have our compressor to pump up tires you know to do wheel changes with a battery tester you know we have braking kits for like when people uh, lock in uh, their keys in the vehicle right we have uh, airbags that we can pump the doors open and then pick out the keys and everything like that. Wow, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's you, on damage, that doesn't damage any motor. No, 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 it yeah. doesn't damage. No, you know, th there is a risk, but we make sure there's no risk, you know? Yeah. And uh, we have our fuel cans for when people run out of fuel. And we also have some parts there, they're ignition coils. We have bulbs and stuff like that, and batteries in, on board. We normally stock batteries because that's one of our common ones, so we, yeah. we'll go out to members I know, I got and replace one last batteries. Time. Well, I actually did break down yeah, some yeah, of my own yeah. house and called the yeah. and As you can the see, there's a out. couple of used batteries because he's been replacing batteries, and then we bring them back to the supplier yeah. for recycling. This is our multi-fit wheel. If the member has a puncher, no spare, this wheel we can use to get them to their location, either to a garage or to their home address. Um, it fits around about 85% of vehicles on the road right now. Yeah. We use these different types of hubs and spacers the patrol will have a list of what vehicles he can use and what hub to use and if it needs a spacer and then we can get the member on their way either like i said either to their garage or to their home address Dead. we also have a puncture repair kit um, if it's only like a nail in the tire or something mm -hmm. like that we can get them going we can repair the, the puncture very good repair it is a temporary repair but it's a very very good repair this is our diagnostic system it's the tablet that every patrol is given even our recovery drivers and we can plug into the vehicle using that green unit which is called the VCI unit that works off Bluetooth connects onto the tablet and we can read vehicles and find faults and do like you know actuate tests and for special functions like unlocking the vehicle or op opening the boot if the keys are locked in the boot we can do all that through that tablet um, reset certain things um, ECUs, engine control units, we can reset them to get the member back on their way and stuff like that. So VJ, all else has failed, the car cannot be started on the side of the road or something has gone tragedy wrong that means the car has to be towed somewhere. This is like a transformer, right? It all just yep. Goes, right. Yep. yep. Show us how that works. Inside the back here we have a CRT, which is a compact recovery trailer. And there it is. It's actually a trailer. It it's is a trailer, a yeah, yeah, trailer, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Size of it. So this comes out, we set a vehicle up, and we could tow it to a garage right. or to the member's home address. <laughs> I 
thing too. That is cool. Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, Bumblebee. Yeah, Bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> Now that's genius. Yeah. Really, isn't it? I mean, that's just, that's incredible because it comes all the way out now. So you, yeah. can, you can close up the, show, the tailgate and you go back to being an armored van, you just put a, yeah. you just put a trailer yeah. on. Once it's all set up, we use the wheel straps and everything like that. This, this goes back inside, that can fold back inside and then we can sh shut the lid. You'd manage to get this all the way again, it all fits back in like a grew there. Yep. That's an amazing thing. Yeah, it's very compact. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. yeah. Very user friendly and very compact. Yeah. So essentially, you can be fixed on the side of the road. Eight out of ten fixes on the side of the road, but you will get sorted out with what you have to be told if necessary, or you need to be jump started. Something's brilliant. But uh, we close that up. Thank you very much, VJ.